hello lads and ladies and welcome back for another video on the channel today it is Fleetwood against Stevenage yes we bump into Stevenage for the first ever time our first ever meeting we've played and beaten everyone in League One once upon a time not just this season otherwise we'd be coasting with the Oxford Boltons Portsmouths and Stevenage of the of the world this season in League One they're doing really well fourth in League One so Fleetwood then, Lee Johnson come in, 10 games, 4 wins, 3 draws, 3 defeats in Skybet League 1. He had a 40% win record before he came, that's continued. And I'll tell you what else has started to grow, an infrastructure, a belief. I'm coming into games now, forgetting the 3 points on the line. If we lose, going away, still quite happy with what I've seen. And, you know, we're unbeaten away under him. Again, the games they've lost at home. Wickham, very good side. At Oxford, phenomenal side. Lincoln decent enough side so um again i've just got jake's uh, jake, my mate jake's uh, voice in my head going oh we beat you one nil uh, against lincoln so stevenage then and it really infuriates me when people go i don't want to watch stevenage week in week out when the you know when you lose to stevenage or they don't get a result against stevenage what you don't want to win one in two steve evans has won over 50 percent of his games while well, Stevenage boss won a promotion out of League Two last year, inherited a side that was you know, on the verge of going into the National League a few years ago, only stayed in the league because of Macclesfield's problems. And this is a side that he inherited, you know what, for two years ago and has done a really good job with them. You know, there's been experienced players that have stayed with them for a number of years. You know, your Woodland, uh, your Woodlands, your Van Kootens, you know, who are good players as well. And he's added talent to that. Pijani as well has been an excellent addition in the last couple of years as well. Matt, how are we doing? Steve, this fan, quite possibly the most... You know, positive person I've ever met. That you know, I think you know I'm celebrities on at the minute, and that Sam's <laughs> gone in, and they're all saying that he's the most positive person they've ever met. No, they've not met Matt Farley. Matt, there's so many reasons to be positive about your side at the minute. Mm. Fourth in League One, you brought a lot of new players in in the summer. I always thought you'd do well. Mm. I bet you didn't think you'd do as well as this. No, look, can I just say, first of all, it's a pleasure to come on here. I, I watch this every single week, so it's great to come on here and, and speak to you, Ben. But, um, somebody has to. Uh, yeah, somebody has to, mate. And by the way, the positivity, I think I trumped Sam Thompson. I think yeah. I've been better, do you I, know yeah, what I mean? I agree with that. 100%. Yeah. Uh, but no, look, it's been incredible this season. Um, we've come up to League One and we were all a bit like, you know, we want to stay up, we want to get the 50 yeah. points. Um, so to be fourth, nine wins in the bag, it's absolutely incredible. We're just enjoying it, mate. Do you know what I mean? Uh, what we've done under Lee Johnson so far, I've been really impressed about. And I could see a, a real infrastructure building. He was over in Dubai, training one of our you know, sister clubs over there in the international break. And it really feels like we're building something under Lee Johnson. There's a feel-good factor there for a short term. The short-term goal is get out of the bottom four, which we're going to do with ease. I believe in that, and that's because of Lee Johnson. On the Scott Brown, I didn't believe in it, if I'm honest with you. But now Johnson's come in. There's a new feel around the football club. He's done a good job. Only signed one player, Ben Hennigan. Probably been the second best player this season since he come in, behind Brendan Wiridu, who's been a Rolls-Royce. It makes me laugh when people say that they won't want to watch you every week. What? What's that? <laughs> Winning football? Promotion from League Two with you know a small budget. And obviously, he's improved plays as well. You look at BGR, big goal Reedy, yeah. and you know, I can't stop calling him that. He's called Jamie Reed. I need to stop getting out of that mindset. What's your prediction today? Do you think you'll see in those playoffs as well? Because I see, I don't see anything other than seeing you dropping out the top ten. I think you'll stay in that top ten. I really believe that. I think today is our toughest game of the season because the way you play, you're physical, you know the league, you've got a good manager, we're at home, we're not great at home, you've got a good away record and you deserve it in the playoffs. Mm. Yeah, look, I think the thing about it, I agree with you, I actually think we'll stay there. So a lot of people have said, you know, when's that inevitable fall going to happen, right? Yeah. But it hasn't happened. You know, we're nearly, I think Jake said it to me last week, we're nearly half the way in. You remind right. me of us a few seasons ago when we yeah. were we, we, with Rosler. You can go mm. to sides and win 1-0. Mm. You went to Wickham last week, a couple of weeks ago, won 1-0. You beat mm. Lincoln 1-0. When you're not at your best, you can win 1-0, mm. which is huge. So I can, I can kind mm. of agree with that. Yeah, I just think we're going to stay there. I just think... You've seen with sides that start well in a season. I use Port Vale and Exeter, for yeah. example. You can get sides that start well and then they decline. Yeah. But it's not really happened with us. We've, we've gone through a tough run in October where we yeah. played your Blackpools, your Boltons, etc. And we lost those games, although we come out winning. And we're still there. Uh, you know, you know, big goal, Reedy. Jamie Reed's been ever-present under him as well. He's improved, you know, so much as well. And again, they've got a really good culture. They play their own way. 
and they, you know they don't change you know for anyone they'll change formation they'll tweak it they'll adapt it but they are Stevenage they know what they are and if they if they have to if they have to go along they'll go along if they can play it short they'll play it short and again they've got the lowest passes per game in League One they've got the lowest average possession in League One but the fourth and the winning games of football, so why should that matter? And I kind of think that the new generation of football is to play tick attack of football, play 500 passes per game, you know, and play beautiful football. It's not always about that. You're in League One, it's going to be a battle, you know, you're coming into Fleetwood, that's an open stadium, and you've got to play, you know, play to the conditions. And Stevenage knows that, Steve Evans knows that, he's wise off, he's, you know, he's, he's a strong manager, as is Lee Johnson. I've got the ultimate respect for this Stevenage side and Steve Evans. We're on a bit of momentum at the minute. I think it'll be tough. Look, I think Fleetwood yourselves have improved, you know, you've yeah, had a new great. manager. Etc. I actually think you'll be fine as well in, in League One this season. So I think today's going to be tough for us. But look, I can't look no further past BGR, mate. It's big guy. Really. He's going to score, isn't he? Do you know what I mean? So no, look, I I I think we win. I, I said earlier, oh, I don't want to say it to you because I love you. I think you're great. But I said three 0 to us. I don't want to stick with it. I'm so On me angina. We got him. Literally. You're killing me, lads. You're killing me. Yeah, I think you need to add an extra R to that big goal read. Big goal regular read yeah, is Gav well, Sutton Gav said. Sutton says regular goal read. Yeah, yeah. Consistent goal read. It's got to be big goal though. Really, he does score know. some big goals, doesn't he? You know, last week as well. Um, again, Matt, thank you so much. Go and check out his podcast. It's it's a phenomenon. And again, you come on our channel quite a bit as well. So, again, Matt, thank you so much. Amazing. And uh, that's a good connection. That. Yeah, <laughs> thank you so much, and uh, good luck today. Well. But a big thank you to you lot at home who watch my stuff week in, week out, or if you just watch this video now and again, or you're a new viewer, you've made it what it is. We were over twelve thousand subscribers, so thank you for that. But also, we came second and won the silver award at the Football Content Awards for Best Content Creator Football League. Yes, well done to Blues Focus who won it. You know, Birmingham uh, City Instagram page, and well done to Leeds for for getting in, you know in bronze. But to finish second is a phenomenal achievement. And thank you for everyone that voted, that supports me week in week out as well. The like MBEs, they seem to be giving awards out to anybody these days. But again, I, I I'm absolutely over the moon. And, you know, we're going to work hard and hopefully go and get gold next year. So a big thank you uh, and hopefully Fleetwood can uh, get, get an award today and get three points and get us out of that bottom four. That would mean just as much to me. Come on, the cards. Well, Fleetwood Stevenage isn't a classic, let's be honest about it. But what you have got is two good managers with pedigree at League One. You know, championship level under Steve Evans and Lee Johnson over four or five hundred games you know, each. You know, good managers you know, for certain clubs. I don't think if you ask even if you take any other manager over Steve Evans at their football club, there's very few one over Lee Johnson at this football club. Oh. Well, it's big goal, Reedy, the BGR, Jamie Reed, 12th goal of the season. Ball came across and he just flicked it in. It's a really composed finish from a striker from four. You know, scored away at Wickham, scored the winner against Lincoln. That's his third goal in three you know, in League One terms. It's a really good goal. He scored big goals, normally the winners you know, that are aiming for points. And that's kind of, if they win this, it's like 13 or 14 points picked up with him scoring. You no know, big goals to really nice finish and Stevenage have the lead. I was just about to say how at nil nil it was a big scrap and it kind of suited them with the Jarnies, the Reeds, the Roberts, um, you know, the Hemmings and um, you know, of, of these worlds of League One, it suits them. They've made it kind of their own game to suit their style, which you know that's why they've been so successful, that's why the fourth in the league they could go third today. And we've got to be careful of that. What I like about Stephen is they are what they are and they play to the strengths. Rochdale and Wimbledon, uh, you know, kind of like playing you know, a passing game and MK Dons as well like playing you know, this passing game, 500 passes per game and hopefully... Well, it's better we move the ball a little bit quicker and Patterson again, an excellent... 
came in against Blackpool and Exeter, Kidderminster, and today he's been all right as well. Probably been the best player in the team, if I'm honest with you. Most likely to score a goal for the attempt of the woodwork. They've got experienced players at 1 0 up 35 minutes to go. You'd be looking at Steve Evans and you know, his team this side have got experience. You know, it's seen out this, you know, this type of situation, not just this season, but the likes of Wickham against Lincoln recently as well. You know, Thompson scored here before, Butler scored here before. I hate you, Butler. Uh, uh, um, and you've got so many really, you know, players that you can you know, grind on to a result like this and get a clean sheet away from home when they are the type of side that can go away and win 1 0, taking away from home. Well, it's Fleetwood Town nil, Steve Newt's two. We've been the better side since the sides came out for the second half. And it was a, a ball over the top of a loopy ball. We're, we're a bit open. And Ben Thompson scored in 2019, December 2019, for Paul in a 5-2 routing um, for, for Pompey that day. It was a goal that was in front of me that hit the bar and went in scores again he's been at chills and you know, he did very well there although they went down that season as well we said with their expense tonight's finish under Jay Lynch and Flick returning yet again I've got sinking feeling at home he's going to be a fourth defeat you know at home under Lee Johnson already and now I like you know when we're at home we should be with Fleetwood Town we play by our rules and Steven has had that in abundance but they doubt that when they go away, they'll be arrogant to say, we're coming into your stadium, but don't think we're going to play by your rules, we're going to play by our rules, and you're going to conduct it. And that's why the fourth in League One. 35.70% as it stands the way to the safety marker of 50 points. Steve Evans, Paul Reino, Steve inside, have done an unbelievable job here. You know what annoys me when people say, oh, Stevens is fluking the way up here, and you know, if you want to watch this, 2 0 up, 35 points after 19 games after this, and nearly two points a game, doing really well in League One, you know, flying higher than anyone would expect them to. But if you're the top 10, why would anyone not want to be a part of that? And you think about it, they're going to get another 38, 40 points in the next. 25, 26 games, 27 games, they're going to be, they're going to be up there. It's a difficult game against Steve, which is even more difficult when you go a goal down, never mind two goals down like we are. They've kept nine clean sheets in the league prior to today, this will be ten if they hold on. And that's the most in the division, it's very difficult to break down and that's why they are where they are because they are so tight at the back. Well, it's 3 0, and to be fair, the lads haven't given up. I'll give them that. You know, we've still looked for a goal. You know, it, it kind of as time's gone on, it never really looked likely. The bar a couple of times been unfortunate in certain elements, just a lack of quality today, a lack a little bit of, you know, a bit of final touch magic. And they, they've had that, and Elliot Lee puts it away. It's 3 0 to Borough. I'm not going to boo because I don't think we're even that bad. I thought they were clinical, they did what they needed to do, got the result, came here, did a job on us, made it their game. We didn't adapt to their game, they worked us out quite easily and Steve Evans did a, did a job on us. So well done to them. That's the first thing I always like to try and do is congratulate the opponent. Um, I don't think we lacked design today, I thought we were all right, we, we kept going. It's just another sinking display, we had six games now under Johnson at home. A one year story, 2 3 3 against Blackpool, lost the other four. And they're a bit like their bad losses, 4 1 with him. 3 0 option, 3 0 here, 1 0 uh, against Lincoln. That's the one thing we need to improve on, conceding goals, got to be better defensively. But again, we're going to win a four away games now. Thanks to 
for watching today's video. I hope you enjoy it. Please stick with me. Please stick with Gilby Football Club. Thanks so much for watching. Until next time, I'll see you later. I will see you on Tuesday at Wigan. Wigan have scored!